Now we will learn how to manage our newly created instance or virtual machine on AWS cloud platform. So first of all, I will open the browser. Okay, so this is the dashboard of my AWS console account. Now, if you want to access your instance, you can simply go to services, compute, and then EC2. So here it is showing me one instance in a running state. If I click on that, it is only displaying one instance, but here you can see, I have applied the filter for running instances only. If I clear this uh, filter, you can see there are currently two instances. So the first one is in stop state and another one is running state. So the stop instance cannot be accessible. So if you want to start this instance, you can select this instance, click on instance state and start instance. Likewise, if you want to stop the instance, means shut down your instance, you can simply click on stop instance. If you want to reboot the instance, you can click on reboot instance. Or if you want to permanently delete this instance, you can click on terminate, terminate instance. Now, if you want to secure instance, like anyone have access to your AWS account, and if it tries to terminate your instance, you can protect your instance from termination. So for that, select the instance which you want to protect, then click on actions, then instance setting, and here is a option for change termination protection. Click on that and you can enable the termination protection. And if I save this, let's try to terminate our instance. So this one is protected instance. I will click on actions. Uh, I will click on instance state, terminate instance, terminate. You can see it give, gave an error that failed to terminate an instance because uh, we only need to modify uh, termination protection for this. So for that, I, what I will do, I will select the instance, go to actions, instance setting, change termination protection, disable it and save the changes. Now, if I click on instance state, terminate instance and terminate. You can see the instance is successfully terminated. Now it will shut down the instance and it will be deleted from our environment. Likewise, you can easily delete your instance. Okay. As like a termination protection, you can also enable stop protection means anyone cannot be uh, able to uh, shut down your instance. You can just uh, change it from here. Now, if you want to access your instance, you can click on instance, then click on connect. And there are multiple options by using you can access your instance. Uh, if you want to uh, browse your instance by using EC2 instance connect, you can just click on this option and click on connect. So you will be able to access your virtual machine. There are multiple other options also available. Now we are going to take SSH access of our instance means secure shell access for that first of all what we need to do open up a ssh client and thereafter uh, we need to modify the permissions of our uh, uh, key file which we have generated and then use this uh, ssh command so let's perform this so for this i will just open my terminal click on terminal Okay. I will just increase the font by using command plus on my MacBook. You can clear the screen by using control L. Now, currently my present working directory is like my current path is users and username. And I have downloaded my key file on the desktop. So I will just switch to desktop. If you click PWD for present working directory, you can see currently I'm in a users, my username and the desktop. Now I can use ls command to list all the files and folders here. Now you can see my file is decrypted.pem and if you want to check the file permission, you can use ls hyphen lrth and the file name. You can see the file only having 
read permission for user and write and execute permission is not available for any user groups or others so we don't need to copy paste this command but if there are a different permission so for read uh, it is counted as a four value for write it is counted as a two and for execute it is counted as a one so it is a combination of that so four means read for user so the first three permission are for the user rest three permission are for the groups and other three uh, three for the others so we are not going to give any permission to, for groups and others we are only go, uh, giving a read permission to the our user okay so it is already there so there is no need to change now we need to perform this command so i will use command like ssh hyphen i then our file name which is a decrypted.pm you can write it as it is or you can also use double inverted comma for the file name then username to which we are going to log in so here aws has created their own user we are not going to take any root access or administrator access of our instance here so first of all we need to log into this user so i will use command like ec2 hyphen user at the rate thereafter we can provide the complete path or complete hostname for our instance or we can also specify public ipv4 address now you can see here is my public ipv4 address i can just copy this paste it here click the enter button it is asking me are you sure you want to continue connecting yes i want to continue use clear to clear the screen now you can see i am currently logged in as a ec2 user you can also check by using who am i command and you can see i am currently logged in as a ec2 user so this is how you can easily uh, go through the aws cloud account as well as access your instance 